Hi friends, welcome to my channel AB Creative World. Today I am going to make a video on how to find the mean by using step deviation method. In the previous classes I have explained about finding mean by using direct method and by using assumed mean method. So this is the final method for finding the mean that is step deviation method. So before going on to the sum, first we have to know what is the formula used for finding the step deviation method. So, x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi ui by sigma fi into h is the formula. So, here I have taken an example sum from the 10th class textbook which says the table below shows the daily expenditure on food of 25 households in a day. So, daily expenditure and number of households. Daily expenditure 100 to 154, 150 to 205. 200 to 250 12 and 250 to 302 and 300 to 352 the question is find the mean daily expenditure on food by a suitable method so here the method which we have taken is step deviation method so this is how the table to be drawn for finding the mean by using step deviation method the first is a class interval the second is the number of households that is fi the third is the class marks xi third is di is equal to xi minus a that is what is xi uh, xi minus what is a value ui is equal to xi minus a by h and fi ui so here what are the class marks as we have seen in the earlier two classes class marks is nothing but adding the first and second values and dividing it by 2 so adding 100 and 150 what is the value that we get we get 250 so 250 divided by 2 what is the value you get 125 next 150 plus 200 divided by 2 is 175 next 200 plus 250 divided by 2 is 225 250 plus 300 divided by 2 is 275. 300 plus 350 divided by 2 is 325. And adding these all values we get 25. Now next, how to find A, A value. In the earlier class when we were finding the A value by using assume mean method, how did we find how did we find the value of a we first thing we have seen which is the biggest value in this which is the largest value in fi so adjusting to that whatever is there that becomes a now here what is the largest value 12 adjusting to that what we have 225 so 225 becomes a so xi minus a is 225 okay xi minus 225 now so these are all the xi values so we'll substitute every time the xi value and the ai a value will be different l value will be same sorry so xi 125 minus 225 becomes 100 but since the biggest value is having minus sign so it will be minus 100 next 175 minus 225 becomes minus 50 225 minus 225 0 275 minus 225 becomes 50. 325 minus 225 becomes 100. So as I told, whenever wherever there is a value, there you will get 0. The above will be negative, the below will be positive values. Now next, what is ui? ui is equal to xi minus a by h. So a value is what you got? 225. What is h value? h value is the difference between the uh, two class intervals. Now, what is the difference between the two class intervals is the h value. Now, what is the difference between 100 and 150, 150 and 200, 200 and 250 is 50. So, xi minus 225 by 50. So, what is the first xi value? 125. 125 minus 225 by 50. That means what it becomes 125 minus 225 is 100. Minus 100 by 50, 51s are 52s are. 
so it becomes minus 2 next 50 by 50 is 1 minus 1 this becomes 0 and here it becomes 1 here it becomes 2 now fi ui what is fi 4 ui is 2 4 to the 8 minus 8 5 1 the 5 12 0 the 0 2 1 the 2 2 to the 4 now 8 plus 5 becomes 13 and 4 plus 2 becomes 6 okay 13 minus 6 becomes 7 since 13 is having biggest value it is minus 7 so sigma fi is minus 7 sigma fi is 25 what is h value 50 what is a 225 since we have all the values required for the formula now we will directly substitute these values in the formula that is a is 225 plus what is sigma fi ui minus 7 sigma fi is 25 h value is 50 now what we will do 25 ones are 25 twos is 50 that is 225 plus minus 7 into so it is 225 plus minus 7 into 2 becomes minus 14. That is 225 minus 14. What is 225 minus 14? 211. So what is the question that they are asking? Find the mean daily expenditure of food. So the final step is the mean daily expenditure on food is equal to rupees 211 so this is how we have to find the step mean by using step deviation method hope you all have understood and if you require the classes on any of the topics so please do comment for more videos thank you